Hey guys, what is going on today? Today I'll be talking about Polish control. Polish what? Yes, exactly, that's right. Our, as we live and breed on this earth, it is becoming more entrapped with carbon molecules. Therefore, limiting the amount of oxygen that we have. If we, the human species, keep releasing excess amount of carbon, we might actually literally die. die. Hold on, we can still fix it. Obviously, by banning gas-powered cars and limiting the amount of gas pipe factories in the world a good idea. But what if I told you that there was another way to increase the amount of oxygen levels and decrease the amount of carbon levels? And that's exactly what I'll be talking about today. My genius plan to develop the most innovative microorganism that will increase oxygen, oxygen and decrease amounts of carbon. Now, here's how carbon dioxide gets released into the atmosphere through gas-powered cars. As gasoline gets burned inside the car, it releases a smoke product which contains a lot of carbon dioxide. That CO2 gas gets released into the atmosphere, which is then entrapping the earth as more and more cars are releasing CO2 gas. Trees and plants both have specialized cells. Like us, we have animal cells. But for trees and plants, they have plant cells. Now, plant cells are the exact same things as animal cells, except they have an extra organelle called chloroplasts. Now, chloroplasts contain chlorophyll, which during the process of photosynthesis converts sunlight and carbon dioxide into a glucose, which then uses food for the plant or the tree. During the process of photosynthesis, though, it also emits oxygen into the atmosphere, which then we breathe in. The theory is to create a microorganism, which I'm going to call the IO cell. What the IO cell will do is basically take the DNA of iron and the DNA of a chloroplast and inject that into the tree, which will then hopefully emit more oxygen and get that into the atmosphere, thereby de de deteriorating the balance between the carbon dioxide and oxygen, which the carbon dioxide at the moment is a lot more than the, car than the oxygen concentration. Uh, deforestation does not help at all, obviously, because the more trees that are being taken away, the less oxygen that's being increased into the atmosphere. So with that, there's a, there's a very uneven balance between the amount of carbon dioxide and the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere at the moment. And it's being affected a lot in like India and China, where there's a lot of factories there. And that's the problem. See, in China, Beijing, there's already people who have to wear ox masks just to go outside. I mean, if that's not crazy, I don't know what is. And that's another reason why it's so hot in some places, like this, will, it's getting hotter. The Earth's temperature is rising rapidly as we speak. And scientists are trying to figure out ways if we can increase oxygen con content, which is why this IO cell, which I've theorized, should help. I mean, biotechnology has advanced a lot in the past few decades, and with genetic engineering and DNA manipulation, we can really bring a change to the world and hopefully make the Earth last longer. We've come this far. We can't stop now. If we don't change what we're doing at this moment, the Earth might die. So when I heard about ChemCon, I, I, I thought immediately about the biology project because that's what appealed most to me. And with the biology project, I realized I could, I could try to see if there was a way that we could end pollution in the world. And this IO cell is something that I've only theorized, but it's just something worth, worth trying. Try.